Mates are created between entities. In fact, they exist specifically to relate one entity to another in an assembly. After mates are defined, some of the mated entities can disappear for a variety of reasons, resulting in broken mates. For instance, this can happen when a component's geometry changes, eliminating a mated face or edge, or when a reference plane is accidentally deleted or suppressed. Another common reason you may end up with broken mates is the replacement of components in an assembly. In this case, I'll be replacing the blue plate with another component. I'll right-click the plate and select Replace Components. This brings up the Replace Property Manager. I can add more components to be replaced by selecting them with this window active. If I had multiple instances of the same component, I could check the All Instances checkbox to replace all of them. I'll use the Browse button to select a part called Replacement Plate. If I had the Replacement Plate or any other part already open, they would be displayed in the Replace with this one selection window to be selected without having to browse for the part. I'll leave all other options at their default, including the Reattach Mates option at the bottom. When I click OK, the Mate Entities Property Manager appears, along with two pop-up windows. One of the pop-up windows is a preview of the plate that's being replaced, and the other is a pop-up toolbar to help replace the mates. The Mate Entities window lists any entities involved in a mate. By clicking the Show All Mates checkbox, all entities, including valid ones, will be shown. In this case, Show All Mates has no effect because all mates have problems. By selecting each entity in the list, SolidWorks will highlight a face in the graphics area and a face in the preview window. These two faces are the ones that used to be made